imagery is shocking from the air. It's almost uh, impossible to describe the destruction uh, from Hurricane Michael here on, on Mexico Beach. There are some buildings still standing, others are completely destroyed. And on the ground. So we've now made it about 10 blocks and the destruction hasn't ended. Um, so many homes ripped apart and gone. Even if they're standing, they are, they'll be condemned. Flattened homes to hospitals. Hurricane Michael's quick and powerful strike came in with a roar. The most powerful storm to hit the United States in 50 years. States of emergency have been declared in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, and Virginia. Early this morning, we met a woman outside her home, the roof nearly torn off. I took that storm for granted. You regret sticking around for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm alive, I'm alive. I just started shaking, the house started shaking. You I got down on the floor. It was popping out the Lord, started crying to the Lord, just take us through this. I've been yeah. in this house 11 years. You ain't never seen a storm like this. I'm no, sure. no, no. I don't think in Panama City. I don't think nobody ever have. Hey, good morning. It's Tony Tatum of TEG Helps. I'm partnering with Hunger Has No Religion. Uh, we're heading down here to Greenwood, Florida, to go um, take some supplies and some um, hygiene kits and everything down here to the families that's in need um, that lost their homes and their family just trying to stick together so we're heading down here to do our part and we're going down here to show them some love and some understanding and we can't wait to see them all right so we are headed to uh, Greenwood Florida never heard of it but that's where we're going so they've been hit by Hurricane Michael I got a phone call from a army buddy of mine who basically told me that uh, they pretty much lost a lot, so um, Hunger Has No Religion is going to go out there beyond Atlanta. That's one of our missions to actually help beyond Atlanta, so we're going to go out there and do what we can. We got about 200 hygiene kits in there, and um, uh, Tony Tatum called me up, and uh, he was looking for some some things to do with his nonprofit, uh, his nonprofit also. So we're going to do a joint venture and go out there. Um, so the treasurer, she took a day off work, my wife took a day off work, and uh, they're going to come out and help out. So we're kind of excited, man, to uh, bless these families, and we're going to do as much as we can to help them. Of course, we know we're not going to get everybody, but you know, we're going to do what we can. That's what's most important. Leon, what's up, V? Man, what's up? So we're going a long way, four hours. What are we going to do? Uh, we got to go give out some hygiene packs. So check it out. We got five basic essentials, then some. So we got toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, soap, toilet paper. We added some socks, some baby wipes. Tony picked up a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go out there and bless these families and then turn them right back around. We got stuff to do on the way back. Tony got supporting his kid got baseball game. We two gotta go back to work on Tuesday. Um, I'll be back on the couch. So just what we do in between, right? Yeah. Shout out to all my veterans out there. We got everything? I keep the window happy. Pit stop, bathroom break, you know, just trying to stay alert, trying to stay woke. A lot of us on fumes been, you know, working all weekend, but when you think about people who don't have homes and shelter, you know, you become alert and aware and, and it's not about us. So we're just gonna stay woke, get down here, embrace the families, and maybe have to sing to them and just talk with them and just give them supplies and just stay with them and just let them know they're not alone. So Then we'll be there. So we're gonna gas up real quick. Go restroom break. That's about it. Gotta keep going. It's gonna be a quick turnaround trip, so gotta keep everything as tight as we can. Gotta maximize as much time as possible. So this is part of our mission, HHNR Beyond Atlanta, to actually go beyond Atlanta. 
to help those that we can help. So this is our second mission, actually. Our very first one we did beyond Atlanta, we went to the Dominican Republic, and we helped about maybe about 60, 70 families out there. We supplied them with hygiene essentials. So that was, that was pretty decent. So this is our uh, second mission this year where we went beyond Atlanta. So we have one international, and now we're doing one in Florida. So there's no telling what the next one will be. So thank you to our sponsors out there, Lilo Nissan, out in Roswell, Georgia. Thank you to them. Rachel Kelly out in Florida. Thank you. Carmen Pace, Pacematic, all our donors, everyone that donated. Uh, we can't do this without you guys. So every single dollar that you guys donate on our website goes right back into the community. So we're grateful that we have supporters like you. We don't care if it's five dollars, ten dollars, five thousand dollars. We will do everything we can to help those in need. Appreciate you guys. I was homeless, so I understand. I understand how it's not to happen. It's a lot of comfortable situation. I didn't always have people that have my back. And those that did have my back, I'm so appreciative for them. And they still support me to this day through these organizations. Thank you. Precious Ingram and I reside in Greenwood, Florida. On October 10th, 2018, the hurricane hit Jackson County and the surrounding areas such as Mariana, Greenwood, Calhoun County, all the several areas. Today, well this morning, we have Hunger Has No Religion by Mr. Donnie Edwards who has came all the way down from Atlanta, Georgia with his crew and they're helping out, giving out supplies such as socks, hygiene products, feminine products, toiletries, whatever it is, people here have lost their homes. Some people still are without power as water such as myself. So a lot of items the community is in need of and they have been generously, graciously to come down. We have had National Guard, Armory, and different other agencies in the area trying to come out to help. A lot of big trees and debris have fallen on people's homes. So they're kind of without right now. So they're trying to come and basically help the basic needs, the small needs, such as water, um, socks, hats, uh, diapers, wipes, whatever it is. Um, Hunger Has No Religion is here to lend a helping hand.
<laughs> it's free. Then we're done. Then we're gonna go back on the road. One hour with no signal. <laughs> so prepare for it. So you already know what to expect. One hour. One hour with, with no, no signal. The whole hour? Hi, my name is Richard Murdoch from Malone, Florida. I had to leave my trailer because of, by then it was a Cat 3 coming through here. And anyway, I had heard that uh, my tree is, I mean my yard is full of trees, which meant the pecan tree in the backyard of my neighbors broke a limb and come through my trailer. But it didn't, thank the Lord. Um, all my trees that were in my yard fell the right way away. The trees in the back fell straight down. The limbs, the big limbs on the tree. But, but that one limb I was worried about is 60 foot tall in the pecan tree. It has squirrel holes, about 12 of them, right there where it forks off. Right there at the Y. That's the only limb that did not have damage to it. If you can believe that, pan one of these big pecan trees. But, um, but you can imagine the base of the tree where I'm standing is this big round. I'm blessed. I don't know, but I, I'm a changed person. Uh -huh. I thank y'all for coming up here so much. I've got other stories, but I bless y'all for coming. Okay. I feel so guilty for all the help we've got. Everybody, whether it be the government from Salvation or stuff like that, other people, the Katrina people, and I hate to say Katrina people, they had nothing but water thrown out of helicopters. And I feel so guilty about receiving this stuff. I really do. Every time I eat a Salvation Army meal, I think of them. I really do. God bless y'all. Okay, well, the situation up here is it's, it's still dire. I would say um, we still struggling. A lot of us ain't got lights or water yet. Um, my mom lived down here in Bascom. She don't have any lights or water. So we still struggling, you know what I'm saying? So every little bit counts, you know, and I appreciate y'all for coming out helping us. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping. No problem. We drove all the way from Atlanta just to see you. You're welcome. Okay. Cause you know we All right. So, what's your name? My name is Crystal Medley. So when Donnie asks you to move that product, what does he mean? <laughs> what he means is we have to sling this product that's on the table and get it on the streets to the patrons that need it. We gotta make sure that the homeless people have whatever they need: toothpaste, toilet paper, uh, toothbrushes, deodorant. We gotta make sure we sling that product for HHNR. We gotta always make sure they got what they need. There's traffic coming. They told you? Did they yeah. tell you what? <laughs> That's how I do. You gotta move that product. You got product in the street. I will be known as the Tony Montana of hygiene care. Okay? I'm pushing them, get them on the street. I need my toilet paper out there. I need my socks out there. Everybody needs socks. I got Tony out there. You know, we got the free sign. Hey, hey, he he worked. Oh. 
Yes, that's, that's my name. Oh, oh, oh. Some lady came with some lady came and needed pampers. She only had two left. Mm. And we was able to give her pampers. Wow. We, we, we. The, okay, the key okay, word. Okay. We, we, we. But he we picked talked them about up. it. But he picked But we them talked up. about it. Okay, okay, okay. Though. We talked we, about it. We, we game plan. <laughs> if we didn't game plan, right. I could have got something else. Right, right, baby. And then we wouldn't have clapped clap, clap, clap. But see. I always like to give credit with credit due, that's just me. But it is a team effort though, so yeah. he asked what we needed. But man, it was, it was just a blessing, man. When she said she only had two pampers and she had kids in the back, wow. we was able to get mm. pampers, man. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. You got people off of work, changing plans, everything. And this town, this town was so surprised, we came all the way from Atlanta. They were really surprised, man. So it's, 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 a, it's a blessing, man. I love it. I love what I do, man. I love it. <laughs> All right, well, um, my, my name's Tom Benedict, and I'm with the Well Church of Jacksonville. And uh, we brought out uh, the shower unit out here to uh, Hurricane Michael, uh, just we were at Greenwood Baptist Church. And uh, this, uh, the shower unit has four, uh, four showers in it, four bathrooms. And uh, we just wanted to help some people in case they were out of, they didn't have power and they didn't have a way to take a shower. We just came out here wanted to love on them. It's called Love Cleans. Love loves to see people get clean. And, uh, you know, whether it's from their, from their sins, their addictions, just physically clean and give them some dignity. And, uh, yeah, we just want to uh, be like that. Jesus washed the disciples' feet. He said you would do this for one another. And so we just want to do this for other people, help them have a, have a, have a, a good day, feel clean, get get a shower and know God hasn't forgot about them. They had the power out out here, so they blocked off some of the roads for us, but we were able to, to help a decent sized amount of families. So we had everybody sign in, so we should figure out how many we had at the end of the day. Well, we just want the families, uh, we're at Greenwood, Florida, to let you know we're praying for you. Um, praying for your health and strength, mentally and physically. Praying that God gives you a home bigger than what you had before. Praying, praying that He gives you an increase of love and affection for your family and friends that lost everything. But just know that God is standing by. And Congo has no religion, and TG Helps is here. And we hope to come back and, and, and give our hearts again. And we hope that everybody that came by were blessed and feeling positive. Thank you for allowing us to come into your city and, and be a blessing. So thank you. Appreciate it. We fulfilled our mission. We fulfilled our accomplishment. What we came to do. We serviced some of those in need with hygiene kits, clothing if they needed them, socks. So we feel good about what we came to do. Job well done. Today was awesome. We got a chance to meet a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of children, a lot of people going through things. Being able to listen to their stories and listen to their testimonies and trials and tribulations and just be there for them was an awesome idea. And just to wave at the people as they stopped. Some kept going, but just to be able to smile at them all day was just amazing. So today was a very impactful day and I can't wait until we're able to do it again. Definitely. Like Tony said, great day. Um, a long day, we're talking about a 14, 15 hour day. We saw a lot of families. We gave away 176 hygiene kits. So that's thanks to this man right here, all of our donors and sponsors. HHNR Beyond Atlanta is basically just that. We want to go beyond Atlanta when there's a need and go out and help. And Greenwood, Florida needed our help. The people was very welcoming, they were happy. We actually met a lady that said she had two pampers left. And because of our efforts together, we were able to provide her with pampers uh, that she needed. And I thought that I thought that was awesome that there was actually a need, and she didn't know how she was going to get it, and we had it to provide. So uh, it was a great, it was a lot of love. We even had it. We even had something where we were soliciting people. Tony was out there on the corner trying to get people to come in and let them know we was giving free su supplies. And what we said was every time we saw somebody pull in, we said we got one. And, that, and we got one, and that was great. And that means we got one. Yeah. So even if we just help one family at a time, one person, one veteran at a time, we got one. And that, that was great. And I'm sure this man will never, ever forget that phrase. We got one. So we appreciate you guys. Uh, Tony Tatum, appreciate what he did. Came out with his trailer, his truck. 
supplies, we loaded everything we had and we just went out. And I remember three years ago, this organization wouldn't be able to spend, what, we spent maybe six, seven hundred dollars today alone to help families out there where we, we couldn't even do that. And because of our donors and sponsors, we were able to do that today. So we appreciate you guys. God bless, continue to support. And this is not the last thing you'll see. And one last thing, this man was at our gala and performed less than two weeks ago. And now he's here helping. I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. TG helps. Okay, has no religion. We out.